Do you have books piled high onto your dining table? Well, this is how it looks like when it's organized. Do you have bills filled in your drawers that you have not looked at? <laughs> Even the sight of them makes you want to walk away. Well, here's a proven system that I am going to show you how to organize them all. Welcome to my journey to an organized home. Hello, love. Welcome back to my channel where I show you my journey to an organized home. Today, I will be continuing the cleanse. I will be showing you how to organize books and papers with the KonMari method. If you haven't heard of her yet, I recommend you to watch her Netflix show or read her book, Sparks Joy. Marie Kondo has completely changed my life. Thank you, Marie. My name is Scott Wayne. I'm an interior decorator turned happiness seeker. I invite you to watch my journey to happiness. I believe that when you take care of your own happiness first, then you'll be able to radiate happiness to others. Happiest at Home with Scott Wing. All right, it's on to the books. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna gather all of the books in the entire home, even in that locker of yours as well if you have one. So what you're gonna do, just like the clothing, we're gonna collect all the books in the entire home, stack them up and hold them one by one and see which one sparks joy. Since most of my books are in storage, I am going to push my little red buggy down yeah. to my locker room, which is on a completely different level, and I'm gonna bring it back up and lay it all out so you can see. that I've stored away in the storage room and collected all the books that are lying around the house and here they all are. As you can see, I don't have that many books, but for the time being, I do show you how to find out if uh, the books uh, spark joy or not. Um, and I am going to go through one by one and let you know. Um, so I'll have three piles, as I normally do. I'm going to have books that I'm going to keep because they spark me joy. Um, and I'm going to have a pile that is for donation. And the third pile will be a pile where the books that are not donatable and um, we'll, uh, we're going to dispose of it. And by disposing, Recycle, of course, because it's paper. It's only good for the environment. <laughs> so, um, firstly, I want to um, take my first book. Now, this is my first book here. It's The Power of Now um, by Eckhart Tolle. And when I hold it in my hand, it immediately sparks me joy. It, uh, it is a powerful, powerful book that when I first received it from my very close friend, I was not ready for it. And as I was cleaning, I'm bringing all these pieces out and I picked it up and deep within me has told me that I believe you are ready to read this now. So I read um, a few 
Uh, no, I read the table of contents pretty much. <laughs> and everything in the table of contents resonated with me. So this one definitely sparks joy. So you just want to see when you hold the book, you want to ask yourself if this book, if you can see yourself owning this and bettering yourself in the future. If it does, we'll keep it. If not, then we'll donate it. So the separation is done. Can you tell which one is my keep, donate, and recycle? Well, this here will be all my books that I will keep that sparks me lots of joy. And then these ones here, um, I've outgrown them and I will be uh, donating them. So thank you guys. And then these ones here, are ones that I can't donate as they are very personalized to me. So just so you you know what that means is I got this one here in Jamaica when I went uh, there to vacation with my lover. And I picked this up in the guest uh, room and I started to draw some stuff in there. And um, I just can't donate this one as my the information inside are relevant to me and uh, no one else. So that's something uh, that I am going to um, recycle. Thank you. So there's that one. And this is another one of those sketchbooks and notebooks, can't donate. Then I have this yearbook. Uh, this yearbook is from my high school and it doesn't pertain to anyone else, so you can't donate that. Um, another sketchbook, um, a couple of design books where um, I, I was keeping for, from before because I have a couple kitchens that I designed that was uh, published in, in, in one of these and uh, when I was working at Aya Kitchens. So, um, however, um, it no longer sparks me joy as um, you know, the project is over and I do have digital images of it, so I am going to uh, let that one go as well. And then this one here is uh, THG, um, but basically it is a company from Paris and they make beautiful faucets. And, um, gosh, that one's stunning. Um, you can purchase the faucets at Ginger Still, and I personally no longer work there, so I no longer have use for it, and I can't donate it, as um, there's no value to it, to the donation. So I am going to, um, and of course they, um, this company makes these books um, annually, so there's, I'm sure there's a new one out there, and this one is now considered obsolete. So I am going to recycle that as well there. Now, there is a fourth pile. Surprisingly, this one here is another yearbook and however, I find that it's sentimentally connected to me and I cannot make my mind until we get to the sentimentals as, um, the, as um, the Marie Kondo uh, method relays so I'm just gonna put this um, over to the sentimental area and that's it guys that's the books Okay, so all the books are now put away. We are on to the next category called papers. So just as it sounds, we are going to gather all the paper in the home, um, including filing cabinets, drawers, um, mail, anything that is paper. 
And what we're gonna do is we are going to stockpile it all here, just like what we did with the books. So here goes the hunt for papers. <laughs> The first place I store papers is in this filing cabinet that I picked up at the brick, and um, it's fantastic. Let me pull it open so you can see. Um, as you can see, my files are all organized because I have done this before. However, I'm gonna pull it all out because did you know that CRA, uh, Canada Revenue Agency, said you should only have to keep your records for six years? So I'm sure there's records in here that's longer than six years. So here I go. I'm gonna grab all those and move it on. Struggles one. All right. So here is all of my papers. I've collected them throughout the home, and they were in many places. Uh, most of them was in the filing cabinet. Um, some of them was in my bedroom and uh, some of them were in bags, work bags, hidden away in some cupboards, um, things like such. So I've gathered them all here and I also have this little device here, which is quite handy. As you can see, it's, there is things in there already, which I'm going to completely remove. And the idea here is to separate them so you can organize them. So um, what we're gonna do is, uh, which is step two, we are going to have four piles. Um, pile number one would be things, things that will need your attention right away. Things that you, things that you would need short term, and then things that you would need forever. <laughs> so, and then of course the fourth pile would be your recycle pile, and that's the four piles. Now, as you can see here, I had to check in my little book here on the different categories. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna label each section here and um, by using my brother label maker. Uh, who would have thought I had one of these? You probably did because I am uh, eccentric. So here I go. Alright, so we are all done with the sorting of the papers and uh, Marie Kondo again is uh, a genius, you know, we followed her method and look at that, everything fits into this container, everything's um, in the proper place and I know exactly um, how to handle each category. Um, I will be putting them back the ones that are um, keep forever will be going back into the filing cabinet and then uh, the stuff that needs attention I'll leave there to remind me to get her done and of course the short-term goodies as well is gonna go back into the filing cabinet as well um, ready to be used when uh, it needs to be there for me so the rest of the paper here is all gonna go into recycling look how much Oh, I'm so excited. So in here, we're talking about old um, tax files, old uh, 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 visa um, statements, um, pay stubs that uh, no longer made any, any more use to me um, other than um, something that I was just happened to be collecting. So the, the, every piece of paper in here had a duty and it uh, did its duty and now it's going to move on into a brand new uh, way of being. Recycling! <laughs> All right, the finished product. I'm gonna open up the drawer. See everything's neatly in there and there's still more room for other things if I need to store more things when everything is nice and organized. And of course, top drawer, clean as a whistle. Alrighty, everything is done. 
papers are all organized, put away, and the books are put into the cabinet where it's easily accessible. While I was going through the paperwork, I forgot to mention, I actually let go a lot of manuals. Manuals of uh, technology that um, uh, you can find the manuals and owner manuals online now, so there's no need to be holding on to so many of them. And secondly, some of them, had it, I, I had them in different languages. And personally, I only speak, I, I can speak Vietnamese, um, but um, I can only read and, uh, in English. So it was kind of silly to uh, hold all those things that I did hold uh, from before, thinking that I might need it, of course, in the future, but um, I, I didn't. So I let a lot of that go, and that was, you know, quite a bulk of the things. If you enjoyed my video and found it useful, please tap the like button, and that will let YouTube know to suggest my video to other people. If you're new to this channel, please hit subscribe. This way, I will keep you updated on my journey to an organized home. Of course, make sure you hit the bell button that way you'll be notified when I update my next video. If you see behind me, there will be another video. <laughs> my name is Scott Nguyen, and I'm hoping you to be happiest at home. Thank you for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, Scott Nguyen again. I uh, just wanted to send some gratitude out. Thank you so much for the people that watched the previous video and gave me feedback. Uh, there were certain things that were told that the video before was a bit too long, so I tried my best to shorten it down. Um, also, myself um, speaking louder and enunciating, I picked up an idea with my earbuds here. Uh, that way the microphones are right with me and they are working fabulously well. And thirdly, it's, um, and well, that's it. The, it's um, and trying to make less of that as much as possible. So taking on the challenge. Hopefully I get better and I feel like I might. So I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. Bye.